Hey guys, so I have a word that I want to share with you really quick. Um, I feel like I'm in a season of transition in my life and it's hard sometimes when we're in that transition to really believe what God is saying um, what he, and believe what he is already predestined for our lives. So in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, God calls Jeremiah and he says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet of the nations. But guys, what Jeremiah says literally right after God gave him this word, he says, Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. Hold on, wait a minute. So right after God spoke this word to Jeremiah, Jeremiah was like, I'm too young. I don't know how to speak. When literally God just told him that. So sometimes we can get like that. We can doubt what God has already said to us. Wait a minute. It's better. So Jeremiah starts off by saying, Sovereign Lord. He knew that God ruled over everything and that God had everything in his hands. But we can get too in our flesh and in our mind that we reject what God has already spoken over our lives. So what I want to leave you with is just... Believe God. Believe what he's spoken over your life. Believe he has appointed you and he knew you before he even formed you in your mother's womb. And that God, he loves you. And so I'm in a season right now where things are just kind of, you know, school, everything. But we have to still press on towards God and we have to believe the word that he has spoken over our lives. And we have to trust him with everything. So be strong and courageous and keep on going, keep on pressing. And this is not your final destination. Where you are right now, God is taking you higher. So just keep on pushing and and even when you can't see it, even when things feel blurry and clouded, you still have to just ask God for vision, ask him for understanding, and he will give it to you. So this is what I want to encourage you guys with today and hope that all is Guys, I just got another word that I have to share with you. So, let's start. It's back in Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 1, but it's at the end. So, what we talked about yesterday, but at the end of Jeremiah. So, after God makes this promise to Jeremiah about the things that he's going to do through him and da 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 So, God also tells Jeremiah at the end that people will be fighting against him and he will be attacked. So the scripture reads, They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. That just says it all, guys. That says it all. God didn't say, if you're just going to be in la-la land, you're going to, you know, it's going to be cupcakes and ice cream all the time. No, God says that the purpose that I have for you, you will be attacked because when you stand up for God, people aren't always going to like that. When you pursue your purpose, people will fight against you. But God has promised, he said, I am with you. And when God is with you, no one can stand against you. And he says, I will rescue you. God says that. So don't feel over... And sometimes, guys, we can even fight our own selves on our purpose. We can fight our own selves and say, we're not good enough. We're not this. God, he has promised that he will rescue us from our situations and from the armies that may come against us. And there's this song that I really love. I forget who it's by, um, but it's called Surround Fighting Our Battles Surrounded, something like that. But it says, this is how I find my battles. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you, guys. And when we think we're surrounded, when we think our enemies are just coming against us, that's when we're really surrounded by God. And we have to just go to him as our refuge and as our comfort because his arms are open. But he just wants us to walk into his arms and he will protect. So this is the word that I want to leave with you guys today. And just a word of encouragement that you can always go to God and he will rescue you when you feel overcome. And and he is with you. He is for you and he is not against you, even when you may feel like it.